What's going on everybody? Jake here with Bandit Fitness Equipment and today we're talking about the Bodycore Universal Trainer. A really cool pairing of a functional trainer, a Smith machine, and a half rack all built into one really solid system. And let's get into it. To start, let's talk about the functional trainer, which is one of the focal points of the universal trainer. It's gonna have dual 220 pound weight stacks and that's it. Uh, that's actually a very small detail, but something I wanna point out early on is that Bodycore didn't design this machine or really a lot of their products to be a base unit and then a plethora of different attachments you can buy after the fact. It's one price, includes the full weight stacks, includes all the attachments, which we'll get into. And again, it's something small, but something I think is worth pointing out. But anyway, the functional trainer is gonna give you 15 adjustment points from the top all the way to the bottom. And even with the weight stacks, again, you have something that's gonna separate a little bit more. And that's that the weight stacks are not going to be just a five pound jump or a 10 pound jump. It's actually gonna be a 10 pound jump of the 10 through 70. And then at the lower point, you're actually gonna have 15 pound jumps. This is one reason how they can get a bigger weight stack onto a smaller frame is just having bigger plates to begin with. The carriages they're using on here are honestly really smooth and that's because they're using rollers, three specifically, rather than just a plastic sheath to protect metal on metal. And that's gonna make for a really quiet, a really smooth system as you're going through all of your different adjustments. The pulley system is gonna be on a swivel. You're gonna have about 180 degrees of total travel. So you can do a lot of stuff inside the unit, the front, even a little bit towards the side. On your pull bar, you're gonna have a lot of different options to work with. You're gonna have some overhand, some underhand, some wide grips, some narrow grips. But a beauty of this system is the height. You're gonna have about 89 inches to the top of this machine, which means if you're a little bit of a taller person, unlike myself, you won't lose that range of motion when you're doing any of your different pull-up movements. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the Smith machine, which on this system is actually really cool because it's counterbalanced, which means this is gonna feel a little bit more like the Smith machines that you're used to at a commercial gym. So it's gonna have a lot of really good smooth movement. You're using bearings inside, so it's gonna be a lot better than just running on a regular guide rod system. So. It's really cool. The neural on it isn't anything really to boast about. It's fine, it's kind of passive, but again, you're not using this to feel like a regular barbell, it's a Smith machine. So it feels really good. You've got notches on here. There are some cutouts on the side. We'll talk about that later. It's for an attachment piece. If you're doing a wide, narrow grip, it might get in the way, but for the most part, I think they put it in a place that's not gonna get in the way of too many of your hand placements. So we've talked about the functional trainer, we've talked about the Smith machine. There's one final main station I wanna talk about on this whole setup, and that is the half rack. So these uprights here that are normally used for the functional trainer, you can actually push the carriages to the top and add on these J cups as well as safeties and use a regular free weight barbell, which is really cool. That's another thing that adds to the universal trainer of functionality is everything's designed in a way to offer a lot in a really small space. Now, these are not the best J cups, they're not the best safeties, they're not trying to be, but they do have details that we do see missed on other competitors, which is they are coated and with rubber or plastic, so they are protecting your barbell. And it is one of those extra things that really just adds some extra versatility to the whole setup. Bodycore also thought ahead and giving you a lot of storage with six Olympic weight horns, six different spots for cable attachments, as well as a bar storage for your barbell. So the last thing we wanna talk about are the attachments that come with the Bodycore Universal Trainer. And this is something I mentioned in the beginning that I really like about how they set the system up, is that you don't have a base package with all these extra attachments you can buy, they all come standard. So you're gonna have seven attachments all together. You have the J cups as well as the safeties, which we already talked about. You're gonna have a pair of band pegs. You're gonna have a landmine attachment. You're gonna have a dip attachment, which is pretty cool, something that adds to it. And then the two that I think really stand out the most is you're gonna have a lat seat, which allows you to turn one side of the functional trainer into more of a traditional lat pull down system. And you're gonna have probably the most unique piece is a leg press attachment. Attachment. Now, leg machines are one of the things that people usually end up missing the most when they're transitioning from a commercial gym to a home gym. So this plate adds a new dimension to your workout versatility, essentially. The way it's gonna work is it attaches onto the Smith machine bar and those little cutouts we talked about a little bit earlier and allows you to convert this to a vertical leg press. And essentially how you activate it is when you lift up, you can rotate it out and then you can rotate it back when you're done using it. 
Now you can either rotate it out or you can set the safeties at the bottom point, whichever feels the most comfortable and convenient. And you also have a lip at the bottom of the plate here so that your feet don't slip off. So in a nutshell, that's the Bodycore Universal Trainer. It's a really cool piece that anyone who wants functional training but doesn't want to let go of the barbell-centric movements should really put into consideration. If you have any questions on it, leave a comment below. We'll be happy to answer any questions that we see. Like and subscribe. And until next time, train hard.